Understanding Adult Entertainment, a guide for English learners. Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into a topic that might seem complex at first but is quite common in English-speaking contexts. Adult entertainment. This phrase can be tricky, and it's important to approach it with sensitivity and awareness. Our goal is to help you understand what it means and how it's used, all while keeping our discussion appropriate and informative. Adult entertainment refers to any form of entertainment that is designed specifically for adults due to its content, which is often sexual in nature. This can include movies, shows, magazines, websites, and other types of media that are not suitable for children or young audiences. The key aspect of adult entertainment is that it is restricted to individuals who are of legal adult age, which varies by country but is commonly 18 or older. Understanding the context in which the term, adult entertainment, is used is crucial. It's a phrase you might encounter in legal discussions, media reports, or when talking about internet safety. Knowing this term helps in understanding content warnings and age restrictions on certain types of media. It's important to note that while the term itself is neutral, the content it describes may not align with everyone's values or beliefs. Respect and sensitivity when discussing or researching this topic are paramount. Different cultures and countries have varied perspectives on what constitutes adult entertainment and how it is regulated. In some places, there are strict laws governing the production, distribution, and access to such content, emphasizing the importance of being aware of legal age restrictions and cultural norms. When learning English and interacting with diverse cultures, it's useful to understand these nuances to communicate respectfully and appropriately. We hope this video has shed light on the meaning of adult entertainment and its relevance in English-speaking contexts. It's a term that carries significant cultural and legal weight, and understanding it can aid in navigating English media and conversations with greater awareness. Remember, approaching sensitive topics with respect and open-mindedness is key to effective learning and communication. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to bringing you more insightful content in the future.